a tease of Electoral College presidential election Clinton. Two weeks after the polls closed, the Democratic nominee had 64,225,534 votes to 62,209,804 votes for Trump and the well-regarded count maintained by David Wasserman for the nonpartisan Cook Political Report. A slew of Democrats, on the other hand, have also signaled they may defect from Clinton, which wouldn't help or hinder Trump's path to the White House but could contribute to a sense of disarray and voter disenfranchisement. Sometimes a candidate loses the popular vote, or gets a low percentage of the popular vote in a multi-candidate race, but wins the Electoral College decisively. Given the complexity of actually changing the U.S. electoral system, it seems fairly unlikely that the country will get rid of the Electoral College anytime soon. 2016 is on track to be the fifth election in U.S. political history in which the candidate who wins the most votes is not the one elected president giving rise to another round of calls to abolish the Electoral College system. And if the number is 2 million, that's 2 million more than the most obnoxious and despicable opposing candidate. Should the college vote for Trump, as expected, it'll be the same story. Clinton led the popular vote by about 1.7 million votes as of Monday morning. The long counting process has stirred frustration on the part of Clinton and Trump backers. During the debate, some delegates felt a direct popular election would lead to the election of each state's favorite son and none would emerge with sufficient popular majority to govern the country. This election offered a clear indication only that the United States is a divided nation. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.